Hey guys, today we talk about a sneaker creation between Todd Snyder and New Balance known as the Dirty Martini 998. Tune in! Hey guys, welcome to Cut Station where we talk sneakers. My name is Zoe. And if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button and even that notification bell so you don't miss any dope sneaker content. What you've all been waiting for, the collab between Todd Snyder and New Balance on the Dirty Martini 998. And oh man, these sneakers are oh sauce. So glad to have caught these sneakers right here. Man, I've been thinking about increasing the amount of new balances I have in my collection in general. And I'm glad to have started off with these sneakers right here. Looking at the insole of the sneaker, you'll notice that it has the new balance insignia on the inside it has a little bit of coloring of black and also an off-white looking color it looks like the material is made out of a cotton material the whole upper of the sneaker is made up of colors of charcoal or gray olive color and also an off-white or oatmeal looking color the laces are a black sturdy lace also on the tongue here, you have more of the olive combined with a little bit more of the gray as well. It is a nice sneaker overall. The suede on the top of this sneaker is A1 that you usually see when it comes to New Balance sneakers. On the lateral portion and also the medial portion of the sneaker, you'll see hits of plastic there, which I don't mind at all. The back of the sneaker, the heel portion that is, you'll see a little accented Horween leather material. As for the midsole and also the outsole, pretty cool absorb foam material. And you also see speckling of gray on the black midsole of the sneaker. For those of you who don't know who Todd Snyder is, he is a men's fashion designer and has had his own store for about the past six or seven years and he's actually collaborated with New Balance 998 specifically on two other occasions. Most of his inspirations come from New York, bar nightlife, etc, etc. And there's no difference here where he brings that olive martini inspiration to this particular sneaker and I think overall is a dope shoe. So if you're lucky enough to cop this New Balance 998 with Todd Snyder, I would say go a half size down in regards to sizing. Retail, it cost me 200 bucks. Yeah, expensive, but that's the norm when it comes to New Balances. I know there are a lot of sales out there for New Balances. I can put some down in the links if you guys want to. Just let me know in the comment section. So I'm a really big fan of New Balance in general. I really appreciate the street type of sneakers or the lifestyle sneakers that they produce because they are high in quality and I love high quality sneakers that look really, really nice. I like the 997s, 998s, 999s, 1500s, etc., etc. I like an assortment of new balances and it really makes me curious as to why the sneaker community isn't really hyped on these sneakers because everybody complains and everybody is looking for high quality sneakers. With the suede on these particular new balances, for example, the quality is very, very high. And for some places, you can find these sneakers for much cheaper at a lower price with this same quality. So it really makes me curious as to why people don't like this sneakers because you know is it because it's a dad looking sneaker or an old man looking sneaker I personally don't care but it looks nice to me people anyways are rocking those you know chunky looking Balenciaga sneakers because of hype people are rocking like really chunky dad sneakers because of the hype even Air Marnucks are kind of hyped up nowadays so why are these ones not hyped up guys let me know down in the comment section and you know let's have a conversation about why New Balances aren't sought after like other sneakers that are higher priced with lower quality. Hey guys, so my sneaker talk is up for today. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video by your boy Zoe. And I'll see you guys all on the next episode of Casa Station. Deuces.